Hi, in this video we're going to discover how you can specify the recipient language when sending a request via DocuSign. First of all, you need to go to your setup screen and uh, we need to download the list of supported languages from DocuSign, uh, as this list might change from time to time, so it's always important to have the most uh, up-to-date list. So we're just going to click the uh, Downloaded Supported Languages button, and that's going to query your DocuSign and pull down the list of supported languages. And if we go to our languages um, layout, we can see uh, the list has come down, and we've got the uh, name and the value. So to specify uh, the language for a recipient, we're going to go and create a, uh, a new request, and we'll just use our Auto Place Agreement uh, template and I'm going to go and add some recipients. So I'm going to add, uh, we'll add Phoebe and we'll add Race. Okay, so I've got two recipients so I can specify the language um, independently for each of those just by choosing one of the supported languages from the drop down list. So I'm going to choose uh, French for Phoebe and I'll choose uh, say German for Reese. So we've got the languages set so let's go and uh, send that request to DocuSign and that's going to send uh, an email to each of those uh, in the uh, specified language. So let's go and um, see what that might look like. So here comes the first one. Uh, and I think we spoke specified French. Yes, it is. So you can see that what it does is it specifies uh, the DocuSign um, email notification uh, components. So it's you can see we've got some uh, French text here and French text on the button and uh, French text here. So these are bits that we haven't customized. We haven't overridden these with a the default um, uh, setting or value, uh, but you can see the uh, subject is still please sign the custom agreement. So that was something I, I specified. In, in that case, DocuSign doesn't do any translation. So let's click the uh, button, which would normally say review document and go and have a look and we'll see some further examples of how the um, signing ceremony language is set to French. So we can see here we've got some French text up here. Uh, all the buttons are in French. We've got uh, the French notification here. So we'll tick that box and hit continue. And everything in my agreement is exactly as well. DocuSign doesn't do any translation of that. So if it was in English, uh, or in this case Latin, that, that doesn't change. Um, all the tabs and everything uh, stays the same. You can see down the bottom uh, we've got some further examples of it being in the uh, French language, uh, but that's where it finishes. So if I click uh, sign, uh, the buttons in that screen were also in French. You can see here the uh, tooltips in French as well, and um, that's my button to finalize or finish, and that finalizes the agreement. And once again, some more French examples, so uh, I'm going to say no. Um, and that completes the uh, signing ceremony. So that's an example of how you can specify uh, different languages for different recipients, um, uh, which sets the email and the signing ceremony language uh, to the language that you specified. Thanks very much.